Gah. Anyway. You there, all of you. Ah. What is the meaning of this? Where did that creature come from? Blah, 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 blah. How would we know? So you refuse to answer. You're hiding something. No, I just don't want to talk to you. They're plotting against me. Seize them immediately. Uh. Please, your majesty, wait. It was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures. Nice. Huh? Your majesty and her, and her prudence didn't completely trust us at first. And so yet, your majesty's rec command, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? I mean, we did, your uh, majesty. I told you to do that? But your majesty, don't you remember? Don't be ridiculous, I never forget anything. Of course I gave the command, you, you did splendidly. Nice. Nice play, Alice. Nice play. High five to you. Well, that was close. Way to improvise. I never would have thought of that. But the Cheshire Cat has said as much. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead, she remembered something. That didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. Nice. Nice. What is it, Sora? Hmm, nothing. Nothing good, anyways. Well, guess you'll be safe now. And the Queen won't give us any more trouble. <laughs> After all, we got rid of the Heartless just like she commanded. <laughs> Don't tell me you've been fooled, too. <laughs> anyway, I think we're done here, huh? Probably gotta rock one more room and then we can get out of here. What do you say? What do you say? I gotta rock. Oh wait, we got um. Wait, this is gonna be a, a save point room, right? I mean, that's how it was last time. We did a key to key to darkness room and then it became a save room last time. I'm thinking what we might want to do before we leave at Wonderland is go back to the Moogle room. Once I'm done collecting everything, yeah, it's called the Conqueror's Respite. That's what this room is called. I think that's what it was called in the last place too. I just didn't even read that shit down there at the bottom. The Conqueror's Respite. Anyway, we should probably go talk to Mr. Google, because we got a bunch of Google. Mr. Google! Mr. Google Moogle! I have points to spend. I am going to be your most avid customer, sir. Um, are, uh, I guess this takes us out of here, huh? Guess so. Last room in the world where you can save your game. Well, okay, before we do that, let's go back to the, the Moogle room. Um, actually, you know what, before we do any of that, how much, I got 730 Moogle, Moogle points. I got a decent amount of cards, I'm gonna put this in there, I think. Like the level 7, or 6 one that I picked up. That seems like a good, good card to put in. And then, I got a level 2, a level 4. See, this is a level 0, oh, level 0, that's actually not bad. Why the hell didn't I put that in? Oh my god, that's why, because it uses up a shit ton of CP. My god. Well, now I know why I didn't put that in there sooner. Wow. Stops enemies from breaking cure abilities you use. Oh, my God. Put that in. That is amazing. I'm going to take this out and leave that. Oh, we can't even. No, really? Boo. Boo. Okay, well, let's just take out a low-level one. We don't need these low-level. Like, what? We don't need no level one shit. Get that level one card out of here. No matter how decent a level one card is, I'm taking it out. Level one is almost pointless to me. High-level cards, man. It's where it's at. Let's put... Can we put this back in there? Probably not. No, it's, well, we only have 11. Never mind, we don't have enough space for shit. 11 points. We'll just have to wait until we get some more space. Um, Deck one ready, we'll map. Alright, let's go... Yeah, let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and check out the Moogle dude again. I believe we just got to go... We just got to go call. We just got to go through... Well, wait, what? Oh. Wait, huh? This isn't the room I thought I was going to be in. Hold up, what? How'd I end up in here? Whoa, what? Weird how that all... How I got... Okay. I guess they just do that because it's the last room in the place, but... Threw, wait, throwing me off, man. You're throwing me off, game. I think that's what happened in the last room, too. It just threw me off. Alright, I believe this will be the Moogle room. Indeed it is. Alright, let's see what we can buy or sell. Because I don't know what the hell to do with some of this shit. Hi, Koopa, buy some card packs before you go. Sure. Um, Did I buy a card pack last time I was here? I feel like I did, but I don't remember. 
I'm gonna think I'm just gonna keep buying these ones. They're most helpful, I think. Just buy some random card packs. Level eight and a level six, beautiful, and a level and a level four healing, which is cool. I'm just gonna buy all these. I think this is all Moogle points are for, right? Just to buy these card packs. I don't think there's anything else we're gonna buy with this shit. Level one cure spot is good too, especially if we can block anybody from blocking our healing. That's that's something that would have been very helpful earlier. Anyway, good stuff, good stuff. I don't know. I don't really know how much of that stuff is actually good. I kind of want to get the one of these attack card packs as well. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, and hope for some good stuff. Yes, a level 8. I like it. I like it. How much is the green one? This is 200 for the blue one. A blue one would be nice. Let me double check that I can't sell cards. I was pretty sure I could. Like, we don't need all these level 1s. Let's, like, trade in a couple. Oh, you don't get very much for those, do you? Oh, it does tell you how much down there at the bottom. Six points. All right, well, let's get rid of one of these. I'll just keep two of all these low-level ones just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of one of these. Uh, we got one only, low, only one extra fire. See, that's why I wanted enough to buy a, a magic one because we're, we're, really, we're pretty low on magic in general. So let's go ahead and buy one pack of blue. One pack of blue. Here we go. Fire, fire. Got me so tired. All right, I got a decent, a decent ice one and a decent symbol one. Okay, cool, cool. All right, I can live with that. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We'll trade in more cards as we go, but I think that's a pretty good haul to start off my first real batch purchase from the Moogle Man. I don't know if it really benefits you to save your Moogle points for later. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. I imagine a bulk, a big bulk of what we're going to get Moogle point wise in the game in general is going to be just from accumulating it from selling or trading in cards. Because you don't really get it from battles. You get a little bit sometimes, but not a lot. Most of it you just get from, from just chopping all these extra little these little areas or in the treasure chest and stuff like that's where you where I've got most of my Moogle points not a whole lot from fighting just the enemies anyway let's save it and see what happens when we go to the next floor because I believe we are done here in Wonderland for now until the time when I wish to return we are done here for I will ditch Wonderland in all of its glory and uh, if the order holds true I'd say we go to Jeep deep jungle next but Deep jungle is not an option in this game, but we'll complain about that later. Let's see what happens on this in-between floor. This seems to be where we get the real story bits. The real story bits. Hmm. Huh? Ma What's the matter? It's that creepy castle that I was talking about earlier. I what was it called I didn't again? Imagine it. Cause that was the castle where Sora had to use the Keyblade to free Kyrie's heart. Oh yeah, I remember that. Then he just disappeared, and I was so worried. How could I ever forget that? Oh, it was when I turned into a Heartless. Oh yeah. Wait, that happened in a castle? Ah, uh, you forgot that? Then what's it called? Wah 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 wah. Every word. I finished the first volume right before we got to this castle. And why the hell haven't we been now, looking at that this whole time? I can just find it. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Should've been looking at this the whole time. It would've helped Where's us figure out all this shit. Oh, how could it be? What? What's the matter? Oh, my entries, they're gone. Of course, Every how convenient. Page is blank. What do we do? How could this have happened? I'm so careful with the journals. <laughs> all that hard work is gone. The journal's blank. What's going on? 
What's going on? I don't know, man. Freaking me out, man. You're freaking me out, man. Oh, we don't have like an in-between boss fight like we did last time with Axel? Or maybe we do. Anyway, Goof, anything? Well, once we get out of the castle, let's help Jiminy rewrite the journal. All right. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. Yeah, I don't think so either. And if you thought he did, then you're stupid. All right, maybe this is where we'll get the cutscene. Oh shit, what the hell? Who's this chick? How you doing, baby? Mm-hmm. She's got a nice purple colored pencil there. I like that. I like that. Draw me a picture, baby. Draw me a picture. Something screwy. Could a pen just go to Spanish? True that. What if it's more things? Huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to. But none of us really remembers it. Do you think? Could it be that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? Losing our memories? Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. Holy so if we keep going, We'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. So the higher we go, the more we'll forget. Yeah, but by that logic, the more we'll all also remember. Logic, friends, logic. Riku and Kairi, too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fellers. We might forget about where we've been or what things we've seen, but we won't forget who our friends are. I don't know. Come on, Sora. When you turned into a Heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There you go. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. Oh. Well, with logic like that... You're right. Thank you. You'll hear no arguments from me. So, if you're stuck in here that to make you forget about your friends... Let's go. But when I turned into a heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? How come you didn't forget about that? <laughs> <laughs> Because an elephant never forgets. Oh, we're not an elephant. We're we're a kid. All right, we're here and we're ready to go. What are we gonna make the next flow, though? I don't think we have. I don't think we really. Ha I mean, we're not like at a. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think we're at quite at a second episode's here worth of stuff. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start up the next world. I mean. I'm just throwing some battles and whatnot, and then we can call it a day. Let's make a decision, though. Wait, what does this orb do? Oh, it sends us back, right? It takes us to any floor we've been to? Yeah, we could go back to... Yeah, we can go back. So, the worlds build upon themselves. So what will we make the third floor? If you're still remembering silly stuff, we'll be okay. Indeed. Indeed we will. There's no way we can forget, forget all friends. <laughs> yeah. All right, third floor, guys. What are we gonna do? What are we, what's the choice? What what kind of what kind of choice are we making? So we got Agraba, we got Olympus Coliseum, we got Monstro, and we got Halloween Town. Now, Deep Jungle would have been next, but apparently, Deep Jungle is not in this game because of copyright reasons, which is weird. But okay. Sorry, Disney, that you don't have rights to your own Tarzan movie that you fucking made. But that's cool. I think Olympus Coliseum was next, right? I think so. Let's go ahead and do that one next. Olympus Coliseum. Call him like a see him in the color Coliseum. Call him like a see him. Call him like a see him. Who's the boss here going to be if there's a boss? You going to make us fight Hades? Nah, they wouldn't make you fight Hades, would they? I guess they might. We'll find out, won't we? Let's check it out. Check, 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 check it out. What's, what, what? 
what's it all about? Check, 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 check it out. What the, what the, what's it all about? Hercules! 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 Look, an announcement! Oh, yeah? What's it say? Survival Cup. Oh, God. Hmm. It's for some sort of contest. They're calling it the Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. Containers have to run an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. And listen to this. The great hero Hercules will also compete for the cup. Oh, maybe Hercules will be the boss fight here. That would make sense. It says he's never been beaten. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter too? I thought you. Uh, I thought you'd say that. Whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up. <laughs> you're gonna compete even if we don't, right? Uh huh. Well then, guess you better tag along then. Uh. Hold it on, everyone. There's more. Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may enter the main competition. It says the preliminary course is just ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's do this, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Of course. Of course. Look who it is. Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry. The perfect hero. Oh, he's perfect, all right. Perfectly infuriating. Ah, just thinking about that little sunspot makes me boil. Ooh, I'd like to drag him into the underworld. Bet you would. Which is why you hired me. Oh, we can fight Cloud also. I didn't even think about Cloud. Man, there's so many... So many characters in this part, I forgot. I can't even decide which one's going to be the boss. Maybe it will be Cloud. That's right. My man, Cloud, is it? Your job is to beat Hercules in the games. And once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me and... You restore my lost memories, as we agreed. You have my word. Everybody's losing memories and shit. But can Hades actually re return people's memories? I mean, Hades, technically, if this place holds true... Hades is only the memory of what I remember Hades being. Hades is a memory of my memories, if you know what I'm saying. So how can he restore somebody else's memories within my memories when he's only a memory from my memories? This, see, this gets all sorts of f***ed up in my brain, but it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. And this is kind of cool because, obviously, in Kingdom Hearts, OG, none of this shit exists. Like, you just fight inside the Coliseum and that's it. But we're actually going to go through rooms here, which is kind of cool, I think. Kind of pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to murder all the heartless. What we can do, baby. We're going to murder all the heartless. That's what we can do. Go ahead and slide dash. Big move clash. Clash, crash, mash, mash. Oh, yeah. Got a Moogle Room. Moogle Room for the win. Bust it. Bust it. We're almost at an episode here. We'll probably just do the first room. Very similarly to how I did uh, Wonderland. Pretty much got to Wonderland at the end of an episode and then finished it in the next one after that. Also, I just recovered the blue one with the ice one because I'm just smashing buttons for random battles. For these random battles, I give way less of a shit on how I complete them. I really do. I'm not going to use a combo in any of them unless I absolutely have to based on the enemies we're fighting. Just gonna just kind of bash my way through like goddamn meathead and say Hulk smash through all of it fucking garbage. I didn't even get to pick that card up, you bitch ass ho. Bitch ass ho. Bitch ass ho. Ah, oh, where'd you go, bitch? Bitch ass. Bitch ass. Got him. Calm bounty. I gotta start using some treasure cards and shit up in here, huh? Damn it, I didn't even get to pick up that card. You ruined my day, sir. Ruined it. All right. Maybe we will do one more room in this episode. We're not we're not exactly in the room where we can uh Like we're not exactly in the first room where you get the first part of the story. I'm going to save the first part of the story here other than what obviously the intro was for the next episode. We're not going to do that in this episode. But maybe I'll make the next room into like a treasure room or something. That'd be cool. That would be cool, I think. So I'm pretty sure as we go through here, the areas are only going to get more 
uh, like longer, more longer. Yeah, that's the word. They're gonna have longer maps. The maps are gonna be a lot longer. That's what I'm trying to say. What is the point of me being in here still? I don't know. I'm looking for more enemies just in case, but I think we may have cleared this one out. So let's go ahead and head to the next room. It shall require a level one card or higher. So let, uh, let us use something that requires only one. Let's go ahead and do Calm Bounty. Let's see what a Calm Bounty we can get. Just to try it out. Just to try it out. Just, just give it a little, a little extra. Just a little bit of that extra. Might as well try out one of our cards, eh? What do you say? Calm Bounty, which means no enemies. Oh. But it also means Un Treasure. What do we got? Hell yeah, we get... Sora learns Blizzard Raid. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Blizzard plus two. Oh, fuck yeah. I did not know we were going to get a slide out of that. Beautiful. 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 I am very glad I did that then. Holy shit. Did not expect a slide. That is van that is fan diddly damn tastic. All right. We're not going to do the next story thing I already said. So let's go ahead and just open this one up. I don't want to end the episode quite yet. I think we can probably have time to clear out one more room, so let's do it. Um, let's not make it teeming with fucking enemies. Let's make it have... Let's do one of these ones. Let's do... Room where attack cards are more effective. Yeah, let's do that. That way I can be more button mash happy. Who knows how many enemies shall be within the room. But I feel like building our path and clearing out all the enemies is a good way to go. That way we can do the story later, like all in one episode. Kind of like how I pretty much did most of the Alice in Wonderland in one episode, which is pretty sweet. And I'm thinking we could probably do the same thing with most, well, I shouldn't say one episode, like over the course of one recording session. Also, all of my cards are slightly stronger. They were not lying when you said my cards were stronger. They all have one extra, a little bit of one that's something extra. But the magic the shit out of this pool. Oh, yeah. Like how I healed him and then killed him. That's how you do it. You heal him, then kill him. Also, I just got my card that I used to get in this room. Right back. Strong initiative, level two. Moogle points. Give me all the Moogle points. All right, I'm going to murder somebody with this. Somebody wants some. Anybody want some? Huh. Oh, missed. Missed it. Bricked it. Wrecked it. Okay. Uh, yeah, just fuck it. Monkey! Fuck a monk. E. Alright. Looking good. There we go. Alright. Looking good, baby. Looking good. I'm just gonna combo the fuck out of these guys. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. And burned him. Oh, shit. We're going round two on it. Alright. Ice. Ice is nice. Alright. Uh. Ah. Uh. Sliding stun. Oh shit, stun impact. It's my first time doing that. That's the first time I've actually added up some expensive cards in a while. That was actually a really sweet use of fucking stun impact. I like it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm happy with that. That was good. That was good. Hey, fucking monkey. Stop throwing shit. Bitch ass. Bitch ass. Almighty darkness. Ooh. We must be able to get a nice chunk of experience from that shit. Ooh, a new slight. Strike Raid. Yeah, let's learn it. Always learn the new one. Why not? This one requires 24 to 26. Okay. Got it. Sounds like fun. Okie day. Oh, God. There's another enemy. Hold up. I'm going to throw a barrel at him. I'm going to throw a barrel at him. I'm going to barrel towards him with a barrel. Come here, bitch. I'm going to make you my bitch. Or not. Or I'm going to do that. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Ah, I'm not gonna barrel shit when you do this shit like that. That was hilarious, actually. <laughs> Alright, just fuck them up with my superior attack cards. Fuck them up with my superior attack cards. I will be superior to all. Bitch. Now, where's that fucking flying bitch? Get fired. Oh, motherfucker. And I will heal. And I will. I need to put this new card I picked up, the level 8 one, in the midst of all my other cards. That'll be very helpful if I put it in the right spot. I want these. I want these. These are experience. Make sure you pick up all the blue diamonds. Diamonds are forever. Forever. Because diamonds are experience. Fudge you, Miss Monkey Face. Oh, monkeys. 
Thinking of monkeys just keeps making me think of mother and poor little salsa. I'm the lead singer of the band, my salsa, my pretty my salsa, my salsa makes all the pretty girls want to dance and take off their underpants, my salsa. Oh, oh. All right. I don't think I got the initiative on that one. That's fine. Whatever. I will fudge some bitches up regardless. Irregardless of a fudginess. All right. One monkey down. Here. 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 Oh, yeah. That was a nice little clear out move. I like that. I like that. Monkey. Boom, bitch. Oh, we aren't done. I really thought that was going to be it for you. Well, then. Well, then. Monkey bitches getting fucking messed up. Messing up all the monkey hoes. Monkey hoes. Monkey hoes. About to get fucking wrecked. About to get fucking wrecked. Eat my level A, bitch. Aw, oh, I missed. Just charge back up. I'm gonna go fucking straight combo on this shit. Strike raid! Oh, snap. That was nice because that's the first time I used that and I just got it. First time I used the slight other than the sliding one right away. Coop. Now, is there something you can do here? Like, is there... Oh. Wait. Um. I don't know. Oh, I want that. Gimme. Thank you. Fire level 7? Hell yeah. I'm putting that shit in. I'm probably going to switch my deck around between episodes, by the way. That is something that I don't want to spend too much time on screen pondering and switching shit around. I don't mind adding a couple cards when I have extra CP, but taking the time to, like, move cards around and stuff, that's something I don't really want to spend time too much time on screen doing. Unless I really need to do it within a episode, which in which case I'll just cut it out, duh, but you get the idea, right? You get you, you get what I'm sizzling, I think. I don't think I need to explain much more than that. Card decisions is something better left to the special the special specialist uh, the uh, masters of all that is disasters. Random Joker, what is that? That's new check that one out soon too. I'm gonna have to check out what some of these cards yeah. kind of room they give me. Oh, I want that. What is it? Level one, weak. I don't want it. I lied. I don't want it. It's fine. It'll give me some Moogle points. Whatever. Huh. A light on fire. Can we bust this shit down? I kind of want to break the statue. Oh, shit. We can. That's hilarious. I didn't actually think we were going to be able to. All right. Where's that darkness fool? The darkness yeah. fool. Damn it, I keep chopping too late, uh, too soon, and then I'm too late. Damn, I got surrounded by monkeys. Surrounded by monkeys? Yeah. Get your monkey ass out of here. All right, that for that. Sliding dash! Yeah, there you go. That's nice. All right. All right. Freeze them before you burn. Boom. All right, that was looking pretty good. Free heal up in there. Now, uh, a little bit of this action, a little bit of that action, a little bit of goof action. Looking pretty nice. Goof action for the win, baby. Actually, you know what? It might it might behoove me to actually use... Whoa, is that the little mushroom dudes that give you items and shit? That's interesting. Um, it might behoove me to actually combine my, my character cards with my attack cards. Because if they're... Especially if they're low level. Like, if I get, a, like, a level 1 or 2 Donald or Goofy, I can combine them with my attack cards so they don't get preempted. It's actually not a bad idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Huh. Well, I'm a freaking genius, aren't I? I just come up with strategies that no one has ever thought of in their entire existence. Like, I am so smart. So smart. Oh, I'm not? Well, screw you too, world. Anyway. Eat the Donald. The double Donald attack. The double Donald Donaldinator. No? Only... We only got one Donald out of that. All right, that's cool. Ooh, we got another level up. Sweet. All worth my while if I get another level up. Hell yeah. This room is taking a little bit longer than I expected to finish off, but that's all right. That's all right. That is okay because progress is being made, and you won't have to watch me clear out another room next episode. More CP, baby. Just in time to diversify my portfolio. Huh. Got him. Just enough time, just just in time to work on my deck. Is what I was gonna say. I'm gonna get some extra CP to work with, to add and modify. Maybe put in some more high level cards. Maybe take out some low level ones. I might be able to work it so I have some a good set of high level cards only, and that way I can just use them and not have to always combine them. But that's the only problem with that is we won't get to use as many slights on a regular basis. I don't know 
really what the ideal setup is. But anyway, at this point, I think we're good. I'm going to head back to the save point room and call it a day. So in the next episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, we shall continue on with the story of Hercules and how he's not really a hero. Okay, fine, he's a hero. Because Danny DeVito said so. See you guys next time. Peace!